Um, good evening and welcome to the Athena Games unboxing for the Guns for Hire set for X-Wing. Um, it's not out yet, but uh, we have managed to uh, acquire an advanced copy from uh, Gen Con, uh, which is why there isn't actually a box. Um, I'm Max, with me tonight are Wojtek and Michael. I would like to say thank you to Jacob Tepper. The best Imperial player in the States who managed to get this copy for us. <laughs> yep. Uh, the box, uh, as I imagine a lot of people are probably aware, contains new pilots and upgrades for the uh, Kirax and Star Viper, uh, both ships for the Scum and Villainy faction. Um, so that's two new pilots for each of them, a new title. Uh, a new generic for the Star Viper and a couple of upgrades uh, as on top of that. So I, I think we were going to start, gonna with, start the with the Kirax uh, with the first of their new uh, unique pilots, Captain Justero. Um, as the, uh, the, the generics, you get another copy of each generic, but they are the same ones as uh, came in the original yep. box. No, so uh, no new ones there. PS2 Cartel Spacer. The Cartel Noir. And, and the PS5 Blacks and Ace. Yep. With an EPT. With an EPT. Uh, so the first new one we have is Captain Justero at Pilot Skill 4 uh, with an EPT at 24 points. With the unique ability of once per round, after an enemy ship that is not defending against an attack suffers damage or critical damage, you may perform an attack against that ship. This ability is very interesting. Mm. Mm. What does it look similar to you? Um, Queen Drone and uh, Dengar. Queen Drone and Dengar. Queen Drone Dengar. Obviously, it's two, extra. Two, two pilots who are super popular and super yes. strong. But with a. Somewhat unusual uh, trigger clause added into that. Mm. Uh, only when a ship is damaged by something that isn't an attack. So what that can be? So that's uh, obstacles, obstacles, bombs. bombs, or the new harpoon missile, which we will be getting to later. Feedback array. Feedback array. Uh, yeah. Uh, if they choose to uh, let you shoot them yourself. Ah uh, no, okay. feedback array will. Yes, no. Yeah, feedback array is Ignore not me. an attack, technically speaking. No, you're right. It's not. And console fire? Yes. And yeah. I think that... I can't think about anything else. else. At the moment, yes. Uh, major explosion. Major explosion can... You are defending. You are defending. Uh, you're, 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 not, you're resolving a critical effect at that point. Because you've already defended. Um, you then turn up. Because then you roll a dice and suffer another damage if you take the hit. I... Mm. One for the FAQ. Suppose so. <clears throat> yes. One that might be for FAQ. But, People yeah. are going to argue about that. The point, uh, <laughs> I suppose what you're actually uh, more likely to be doing with this is trying to cause uh, the extra damage. Otherwise, yeah, you're, not, you're not just yeah. going to rely on just console wait for fires. Some, <laughs> wait or just someone just to fly to the some, asteroid. Yeah, just, you know, yeah. Hope that happens. No. Um, fly him alongside things that are going to cause those extra, the extra mm -hmm. damage. So if you would like to make this ability count, you would mm. also have to probably follow a similar route while choosing upgrade as you do with Dengar or Quick Draw, mm -hmm. which is having a um, consistent attack modifications. Yeah. Which with the title is not gonna be so expensive. So you could go with Predator, you could go with as a, uh, Expertise. So as a point, the uh the Kerax fighter comes with a, a new title, the uh the Vaxai. Uh, which is a Kirax only title. It's uh, not unique, so you can have as many of them as you like. Uh, for zero points, the squad point of each of your upgrades is reduced by one to a minimum of zero, and you may equip up to three different modifications. So every upgrade on the ship is cheaper, and a maximum of three mods, as long as they're all different. So you can have expertise yes. for three points yep. or predator for two. So, uh, interesting thing you could do with Jostro um, and the Vaxai mm -hmm. is you can equip a feedback array yes. and a set of missiles. So unlike Quickdraw and Dengar, whose ability says you may only perform a primary weapon attack, 
you could use the feedback array um, to perform a regular attack and then double tap into it. Which missile would you use? Because mm -hmm. feedback array is only range one, so you would need some ordnance mm -hmm. with range one, which would be cluster missiles. Yeah. I think only cluster missiles. Um, or uh, X23 threat tracers. Um, or proton ion rockets. pulse missiles as well. Ion pulse. Yes, ion pulse. Yes. yes. And proton rockets. Proton rockets. And that would be four dice, which is kind mm. of pointless because you yes. have primary four you dice. You do have anyway. primary four dice anyway, so it wouldn't. That's. I would just slap Glitter Steam on him because it's just mm. one point and gives you it, expertise yes. on offense for one round. Yes. And you might. Like, let's face it, this is not such an effective platform as, as Jumpmaster or TISF, so you are probably going to get That's this ability not. once or twice, and then he's just going to be shot down. But for only uh, only 24 points, and yep. uh, Vaxxar is going to make new upgrades cheap, he's no, not going to be a, he's not a point sink either. No, no. Uh, it's going to be a nice <laughs> ship that you yeah. can just find a role if you don't yes. have points for another ace. Yes. Oh, yes. Um... We will not be having a the uh, a match for this today. That's going to be next Wednesday during our uh, regular flight during night. The, uh, during the yep. regular uh, flight night stream, there are a selection of uh, lists which are up for vote. The top two will go against each other next Wednesday. Uh, the link to that uh, is uh, where is the link to that? In the chat. In the chat. Yes. Or is going to be in the chat in just a moment. Oh, we'll be in the chat in a moment, yes. All right. Uh, anything else about Captain Jostero? I think I, I made some trial build builds with him, mm -hmm. and he cost about 27, 28 points, and that's like including think... some cheap EPT no. and, yeah. and ordnance as well. I, I think that's probably about as much as you want to put on him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's, uh... he's very much. A chip that you want to put mm -hmm. in if you can't afford another ace. Yep. Yeah, yeah. With the potential for some extra shots yep. if you get the ability to work off. Mm. Um, yeah, let's let's yeah yeah. I, I, I want from him. I want to talk about the about the um, combo with him and Harpoon missiles, but let's just talk about this later when sure. we get to the upgrades. Sure. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, the next uh, new pilot for the Kirax fighter at. Coming in at pilot scale 7, also with an EPT, and 25 points oh, okay, sorry. is Victor Hell. That follows the usual the usual theme of all the named mm -hmm. uh, Curexes, that they have names that sounds like 80s rock bands, which is <laughs> Talonbane Cobra, Graz the Hunter, and Victor Hell. I was thinking <laughs> 90s image comics, but yeah, it works makes as well. sense as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so, he has the unique ability of, after defending, if you did not roll exactly two defense dice, the attacker receives one stress token. Um, and given that, so then given that the, the standard agility on a Corex fighter is two, the goal here, I suppose, is uh, try to change that. Mm. Otherwise, he's only going to be very good at range three. So there's quite a few ways you can do this. Mm -hmm. um, there is Stealth Device, yes, which, which is a, um, <coughs> comes in the Guns for Hire expansion. Conveniently. Um, Conveniently. There is Expose. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which is probably to... a terrible combo for it. For... Three points in action, yeah. You can yeah. Even with the discount, it's still not uh, very good. Even with the discount, it drops your agility. Stealth Device gives you another yep. one. Mm. So the um, cloaking device, cloaking because you have um, four at that point. Yeah. You have illicit, illicit slot here, so you can easily yeah. chunk cloaking device for just one point. Yes. Keep so I mind. would argue with cloaking device, Victor Hell is not getting a shot that turn. He's not. So there is little reason to actually concentrate fire on him that turn. True. Um, yeah, he's he's not. I mean, it it will trigger the effect certainly, but someone mentions obstacles. Obstacles as well. Yeah. Yes, of course. Obstacles. An obstructed yep. shot will, uh, if you you could, I suppose, in theory, stick him behind a, a yeah. large base ship. You could just with again, a tactical jammer. With a tactical jammer, you have enough. You have enough uh, modification slot to just chunk um, vector thrusters on him, which mm -hmm. comes in handy in this box as well. Yes. And just ball roll behind the obstacle to get the obstruction intentionally. You could. Uh, you can there combine is... with trick shot to have more dice at the same time, mm -hmm. which is not a terrible idea. There is also the option of giving him a wingmate with bodyguard. Yep. Yes. Uh, bodyguard being so 
Body count uh, was from the original Star Viper. Yes. yes. Uh, a, a unique... A unique two, two points point EPT. Um, start the combat here phase. Here it is. Yeah. Uh, the start of the combat phase. You may spend a focus token to choose a friendly ship at range one with a higher pilot skill than you and increase its agility by one until the end of the round. Uh, so you'd have to put that on something with a pilot skill of six or lower. Unless you're going to increase Victor Hell's uh, pilot mm. skill. Yep. Um, space tug tractor array, if you want to be insane. <laughs> you can <laughs> space tug him yourself. Yes, you can. Yeah. <laughs> if you like. <laughs> that is technically legal. Yeah. I, I, I don't like this ability too much, to be, to be perfectly honest. Captain Jostero, I um, think he's great. Victor Hell, it's just weird. It's something you're going to have to build around with. Uh, which I think is yeah. the problem with it. Also let people know they can get two votes in this thing. Oh, yeah. yes. Okay, yes, two, two votes. Well, because, yes, two lists against each other. Yes. Yeah. So you get two votes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I think what, what you could do is just go very cheap on him, uh, mm-hmm. as the EPT puts something one point, so it's going to be zero it's with the Vaxxai title, a stealth and device. just start the chunk stealth device for two points, and mm-hmm. he's going to cost... 27, maybe 28. Yeah. You could even chunk like cruise missile for two points yeah. because it's cheap it's and cheap. you might actually get it at some point after a nice 5k. Mm-hmm. Um, and just like don't don't base your strategy around him, just treat him as a cheap interruption piece. Yeah. Yeah. Who is who your opponent's going to be less willing to shoot at. Yep. But yeah, I think uh, after the after all of this. The Kiraxes we're probably still going to be seeing the most are the the Black Sun Ace or Talon um, or Talonbane. Or Talonbane, yes. Um, but with new shiny things. Yep. yep. So with the Vaxai title, uh, you can have four Black Sun Aces, mm-hmm. all with Dead Eye and all with yep. cruise missiles. Yes. Yep. That and uh, <laughs> that might be a scary list. It might be. Maybe it's not going to beat everything, but there it will certainly no, perform but... very well. That's uh, that's four ships with uh, strong uh, ordnance. With strong ordnance, yeah. a round of cruise missiles apiece, <laughs> uh, and guidance chips, and munitions fail safe, and munitions yeah. fail safe, and which uh, they can get for free. Cheap one point uh, illicit slot, which might be like a inertial dampeners, mm-hmm. yeah, or it might be what's the other one? Black, Mar- Black market slicer tools. Black as well. market slicer tools yeah. they can get. Yeah, I think only those two. Yes, blackout uh, burnout slime is large ship owner. Yes, so yes. Yeah. they can't get that. Yeah, that I think is going to be the most common, or um, or a big ace Talonbane build. Yes, yeah, with... will cost thirty something points instead of forty now yeah. with all yeah. the dis- discounts. Yes, with Vax, I uh, bring that cost down significantly, <laughs> and yeah. also pairing him up by giving him more uh, access to, uh, to to more. Uh, modifications. To start with, you can give him auto thrusters and engine upgrade for four points in yes, total. Yes, four points. Yeah, him, them, those cards will be... Yes. And it's going to be a perfect combo for him because on mm-hmm. range three, if he's not defending against non-primary weapon, he will be just rolling four dice. Four dice with, with auto thrusters. thrusters. Yeah. So he is, is going to be turned nice. into like a proper defensive ace in yeah. this situation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it would give him, gives him access to that boost. Yep. Uh, uh, Talonbane is going to... Is going to be around another quite a lot more after this. I think so, yes. yes. He's, this has powered him up significantly. Mm. If we are talking about the Kyraxes, I think it's worth mentioning that the new ship comes with a new fancy uh, yes. paint job as well. Yes, black, they both come with a new black fancy sun. paint job. Yep, this black one is Black Sun Ace card. Mm-hmm. Exactly the same one. Is that the same? It looks a bit reddish, but I think that's just yeah. some like light from... Uh, from the surroundings. So that's the the Kirax. I think that's all about the Kirax. Want to move on to the uh, to the Star Viper? Yeah, let's go to yes. the Star Viper. Now oh, the so this one comes with new paint job as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. As well, supporting uh, red and black. Mm. Red and black. Red go faster. <laughs> now the Star Viper actually does come with a uh, a new generic. It has the pilot skill 5, Black Sun Assassin. Uh, 28 points with an EPT. And this uh, is very two tr- copies of this. So one for your uh, shiny new one and one for the old yes. one. Yes. Yep. So you don't actually get the original generics, but no. let's face it, the PS 
Was it PS3? PS1 and three PS1. And three. Yeah. Three would good. never ever seen the table time anyway. No. no. PS1 maybe. Okay, fine. We will, might actually see the PS1s a lot now. Since they're going to be super become, cheap. They will be cheap now. Yeah. Um, you can fit the whole... You can fit four, four of them, them with auto thrusters, the title, and a bid now. Yeah. If you need a bid at Pilot Skill 1. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. Yeah, so you can get four you can get uh four star vipers with auto thrusters. Yeah. Um let's go to the interesting stuff. Yes. Yes. So Tweak. Tweak is a pilot skill for unique Star, Star, Star Viper pilot. He does not have any PT for a very particular reason. Mm-hmm. Um, which is that his ability is quite unique for X Wing. So his ability uh, reads during setup before the place forces step. You may choose one enemy ship and assign the shadowed or mimicked condition card to it. Mm-hmm. So obviously we'll have two condition cards for this yep. one. So uh, let's go with the mimicked one because because it's the or maybe shadowed is the the simpler one. Yeah. So shadowed. shadowed condition is unique, but it kind of doesn't matter anyway. And it reads tweak is treated as having the pilot skill value after uh, the, the pilot skill value you had after setup. The mm-hmm. pilot skill value of Tweak does not change if your pilot skill value changes or you are destroyed. So, like, explain this to me. How does it actually yes. work? There are a lot of words and... Um, you... During, uh, so during your setup phase, you will pick one of your opponent's ships... Before the setup. Um, it's during setup, according on as... Okay, during setup, before the place forces, forces step. So step. before any so ship before is placed sh- on the yeah. board. So before ships go on the board, you will... Uh, pick one of your opponent's ships, and from that point, uh, no, 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 it no, triggers. No. So it we... triggers. Then, uh, so then, from the point Freak enters the battlefield, he will then have that ship's pilot scale value, um, taking into account effects like veteran instincts, adaptability. It probably won't um, trigger adaptability. It will. It will because it will, it takes the uh, the pilot skill they had after they're placed. I thought it was the, uh, when Tweak look, is placed. Look. Tweak no, no. is treated as having the pilot skill no, value you, you had, had uh, after setup, and ah, this is yes, the condition right. card that would be assigned to the enemy ship. Yes. Yes. So the will take so effect. Tweak will be deployed. So f- first of all, before anyone is deployed on the board, but after mm-hmm. uh, the asteroids are placed, Tweak yep. will choose one enemy ship. Then the placement goes as normal, Tweak is placed mm-hmm. at PS4, yep. the chosen enemy is placed at his normal yeah. PS, they are. the VI and adaptability at this stage has to be applied, and after all ships are chosen, the Tweak, from this moment on, which is basically the first turn of the game, is treated as having the PS of the chosen ship. And whenever the ship is going to be getting damaged cockpit, reducing this PS mm-hmm. to zero, or destroyed, Tweak will still keep this uh, pilot skill value mm-hmm. of the chosen ship. So that, so that does mean that Tweak is the only other pilot in the game that could have a PS12. PS12, PS12 that's right. Um, Which also means if you are flying Tweak with a uh, high enough initiative bid, mm-hmm. he is going to be super cheap yeah. and quite effective. Yes. By an ace. ace. Yes, a cheap ace. Uh, he will be able to go um, last. Yep. Yes, uh, just been pointed to um, Epsilon Ace, who, yeah, that's places... Who uh, starts the game at Pilot Skill 12 until he takes a damage card. Mm-hmm. Um, but Freak ignores that part about taking the damage card and it will just be Pilot Skill 12. Mm, yes, if you will decide to steal his Pilot Skill, then yes, you will remain Pilot Skill yes. 12 until the end of the game. Yes, because there is a, uh, there is a second part to uh, Thweek's <laughs> ability, uh, which is that instead of taking the, uh, the, shadowed. the shadowed and taking someone's Pilot Skill... He could instead assign the mimicked uh, card, which allows him to take one of your opponent's uh, pilot abilities. Uh, So that's the printed unique ability of a named pilot instead. In the same, the case is very similar. Mm -hmm. Uh, If the mimicked pilot is destroyed or loses its ability, Tweak still keeps it. Yeah. Uh, The change here is he is stealing the ability um, straight away. Yes. On the very moment yeah. when it is assigned. So if he decides to steal the new Han Solo ability, he will be able mm-hmm. to deploy wherever he wants. Yeah. Um, 
So, so he can be what? He can be Dengar. He can so be he Dengar. Can shoot twice yep. to shoot after he gets uh, shot at. Um, we've just been shown uh, Sabine Wren so that he can boost or barrel roll before doing any maneuver. That yep. is really good, which is really quite nice. He can be a mega leader. He could be a mega. He could and be a new mega leader. He says nope. Do any yep. dice modifications against yes. him if he target looks. And just saying. If he's a star viper, he can have fire mm -hmm. control system, he, so he can have his target lock pretty much all the time on the enemy ship. Yeah, he can. Uh, he can definitely. Uh, <coughs> he would be actually be able to spend it, unlike uh, mm. unlike a mega. Though if he spends it, then the enemy will be able to modify his dice on defense. On the defense, mm. that's true. But not on the attack. But not the attack. So if you roll very, if you roll crap, then you can mm -hmm. still decide to spend your target lock and remain and, it and keep the, it. An issue I do see with the weak is I can see people falling into a trap. Of um, building him for a pilot, uh, for a specific pilot ability or specific yeah. set of pilot abilities. Um, like I've heard people suggest a pulsed ray shield on the grounds of taking um, quick draws ability, but this, I mean, is I mean, seems... quick draw is a very popular race. Very popular, but you can't guarantee who you're going yeah. to go up against if you're say taking them into a and you're gonna be PS4. Uh, and you are gonna be outmaneuvered by people by people a lot. But I mean yeah. specifically, I what I think uh, the mistake there is is you need to build. You can't uh, build your tweak for an ability. You have to um, yep. keep it, keep a general kind of thing. And I think uh, right. for thirty points, you can have yes. tweak with the Star Viper Mark II fire control yep. system and auto thrusters, yep. which is a great all comer of week. Mm. It's probably the cheapest ace you can get yes. for such a point. Such a yeah. decent platform for 30 yeah. points. As so in my opinion, you should rather be assuming you're going to be stealing pilot uh, skill most of the time. Most of the time, from yeah. time to time, there's an ability yep. that's going to be really useful. But mostly, yeah, uh, yep. pilot skill. I and, think for and just having him guarantee be the thing almost guarantee be the thing that's going to be moving last shooting fast if you for example consider the fact that Fantastic. he is a three agility out of thrusted ship yeah big's ability would be very decent on him potentially yeah if you have if you have two other ships probably that would rather not get shot mm -hmm. instead of and just instead force your opponent to shoot a tweak yeah okay um all right then. In that case, yes. uh, moving along to the next star, new Star Viper pilot, Dallin Oberos, who has a wall of text. <laughs> uh, right. He is pilot skill six has an has got an EPT, unlike Thweek, and comes in at thirty points basic, uh, with the unique ability of, if you are not stressed, when you reveal a turn bank or Signal's Loop Maneuver, you may instead treat it as a Red Talon Roll Maneuver in the same direction using the template of the original revealed maneuver. Okay, translating to English, when you reveal your maneuver, take Dalan, put it anywhere within range 2, facing any any direction you want. <laughs> so <laughs> More that also or less. gives you effectively um, 10 repositional um, turns. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, what you can also do here is give him the um, both titles, the the old uh, Virago title, which gives him access to yep. a center slot and a um, an illicit, yep. and the new Star Viper Mark II title title, which uh, allows you to take a second title, so you can also have the Virago. It's minus three points. Uh, they definitely needed deserve, that. Yes, yes. They are massively overcosted now. Uh, minus three points, and when you perform a barrel roll action, you must use the one bank instead of the one straight. Right. Um, so, but uh, if you have that, so is it better or worse to have the bar uh, the the banks better, instead I, of? I think it's straight. better. I think better. It gives you uh, more options. Yeah. Um, less predictability. I think what we're going to see with Dallin Oberos is both titles. Um, advanced sensors. Advanced sensors, auto clusters, veteran instincts. Veteran instincts, definitely. I think veteran instincts, because he's PS6, that's not quite high enough no. just yet. Um, 
eight, I think, is the right kind okay. of level. Uh, yeah. Higher than that, and frankly, he'd be a bit too good. <laughs> yes, yeah. I agree. Um, six is perfect. Six is perfect. Let him go up to eight. Mm-hmm. Um, then with advanced sensors, you can do barrel, roll, barrel roll on your bank, do whatever manoeuvre you were you were planning to do, and if it makes sense at that point, just turn, it into turn around. S- just turn 90 degrees. Yes. Uh, for a stress. Yes. Um, it's... Uh, frankly, that's a fantastic ability. Yes, yeah. we, we have did a lot of testing on this one, yeah. just just trying to avoid his arc. Trying to avoid his arc, so we basically knowing that he's done a one bank. So we, uh, <laughs> you can't. You, you can't. So what we basically did, we he's took really a Star good. Viper, yeah. put a Star Viper, we said, okay, this is Dalla Noberos, yeah. and I'm showing you my maneuver to make yes. it easier for you. That's your something, and your you, something want to, you want to get moves, out of my arc. That moves before we do. Yeah, and you want to get out of my arc. Yeah. Nope. Didn't work. If you if if you can make enough combinations in your head with advanced sensors with all these weird uh, banky the barrel, roll. barrel rolls, it can also boost. You can also boost, yes, uh, because true. it's Star Viper. Then you can pretty much keep your opponent in your arc all mm-hmm. the time. That yep. means you will be stressed a lot. You will. Which means maybe the advanced sensors are not the thing to go. Maybe it's worth considering just taking fire control system to have consistent modifications. And also remembering you will be stressed a lot at the end of the turn, which renders advanced mm-hmm. sensors mm. useless. It does mean that advanced sensors will be used basically every other turn. Yes. yes. Uh, which is going to be his, his weakness. Yep. Also remembering the green maneuvers on Star Viper are not great. They're only one to straight and one banks. That's yeah. true. They are not fantastic. The, yep. the Star Viper does not have a very good dial. Nope. Not for green maneuvers. Yeah. Um, but he's a very he is very interesting pilot. Mm-hmm. He is gonna have a hard time um, competing with Guri for yes. this place because yeah. she is just so good and the barrel rolls and the pound points discount is just gonna make her better mm-hmm. because she was I'm not gonna say very popular but she was she she, she was in use from time to time. If you were three points discount is a massive change. As it's been, if you saw a star viper on the board, it was Guri. Yes, yeah. just guaranteed it was Guri. Unless yep. you're Robin. And you are flying the Zizor, <laughs> the Zizor, the Zizor craziness with yeah. old. But at this point, I think both of these two new uh, Star Vipers and still Guri are yeah, going to see table time. Hedge corrects you, but take the three is also straight. Uh, is green? Oh, three is also green. Oh, ah, sorry, yes. I forgot about that one. I'm clearly not flying with Star Vipers enough. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think these two and Guri will probably see a, a reasonable amount of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, actual use. Yep. I still don't think um, Zyzor is going to turn up all that often. Yes. No. Because he's just a bit too... Um... His ability isn't offensive. And that is no. my problem with him. So people are not, not don't actually have to focus on him and mm. just ignore him until the moment when his ability will be just useless because he yeah. will be the last ship standing. Yes, so he can um, basically... When he takes damage, he can point to another friendly ship at range one from himself and put one of the damage over there instead. I think we can just treat it as reversed draw their fire, which triggers yeah. on every ability. Yes. Uh, on every hit, not only on, on every hit. Not just quits. Yes. Yeah, basically. Um, <laughs> I'm personally a big fan of Tweak. I think he's yeah. going to be great. 30 points mm-hmm. with fire control system mm-hmm. and auto thrusters. Yes. Nothing else you need. He is just really cheap and... Yeah. and Pretty decent ace. And fun. And fun. Yeah, no, Thweek, I think it, Thweek is going to be the most common of this lot. Yeah. Uh, then Guri and Dallin probably in similar numbers, yes. I think. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Thweek, uh, if you've got a a scum list with just... Uh, and you need, like, a cheap pocket ace, yep. Thweek is the go-to. Yeah. He's, he's right there. He's yes. really good. Um... And yeah, as you say, you can get a really good build with him for 30 points. Mm. Um. Right, shall we proceed to the upgrades then? Yeah. Sure. So we have talked about those two already. We talked about the uh, the titles. Because... Let's, let's talk about the upgrade that will probably become super popular. Yeah. Most likely. Probably the uh, best card in the set. Probably the best card in the set. Yes. I agree. I well, agree. We have uh, a new missile. Harpoon yeah. missiles. It's a four dice, range two to three, four point cost missile. Quite usual, so attack so target lock um, triggers discard this card to perform this attack, so you get to keep your target lock. Mm-hmm. 
It's a homing missile type of missile. Yeah. Yes. Um, along with well, the homing so. missile and the cruise missiles. Yeah. Yes. And, and so. Iron Pulse missile and, and X623. Yes, yes, there's yeah. no event target lock on this one. That's so a don't focus. Have that's yeah, yeah, that's focus. focus. Okay, and what's the ability? So, if this attack hits, after the attack resolves, so after damage has been dealt, assign the harpooned condition to the defender. Okay, so what the harpooned condition is saying, when you are hit by an attack, if there is at least one uncancelled critical result, each other ship, not friendly, not an enemy, other ship, so both, mm -hmm. both sides, uh, each other ship at range 1 suffers 1 damage, then discard this card and received 1 face down damage card. When you are destroyed, each ship at range 1 suffers 1 damage, your own ship again, and mm -hmm. then you can get rid of it by spending an action, which reads action, discard this card, then roll 1 attack die on a hit or crit result, suffer 1 damage. And you get 2 copies of this. You get 2 copies of this, so... Um, and that is... Powerful. It is. Anyone surprised that the artwork used for the RP missiles is an X Wing getting pierced? <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if anyone one, didn't maybe, know this maybe, was the big nerf. Maybe one particular X Wing, particular. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So the first yes. thing that basically shouts out of this card is do not fly in formation when you are facing someone with Harpoon Missile, mm -hmm. which is a uh. straight and harsh indirect nerf mm -hmm. to four ship rebels and yeah. i cannot say i'm sad about this <laughs> no. No. i really don't so, like this list and it looks like there's going to be a few more of those coming in the next wave just to yeah to go on top of it are you saying harpoon missiles or four ship can four oh ship? no on uh, um, uh more nerfs to uh four ship oh yeah, yeah yeah the the bullseye the bullseye firing right but here. right now we're on the harpoon missiles yes so so how, 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 how it's going to work, because again, there is a lot mm -hmm. of text on the Harpoon card. So let's say I have my first ship that is shooting yep. Harpoon Missile. Yep. And yeah. I have say three enemy hits. ships yep. flying close to each other. And I, sh I you hit one of one. them, and I had a critical hit. Does the Harpoon condition trigger straight away? Uh, no. No, it doesn't, because the, har because the condition, condition resolves damage, applied. then assigned. Right. Yes. Okay. However, the next thing that shoots, uh, if uh, assuming you get an uncancelled crit... crit then that will trigger. Yeah. And that so what you gonna do? To, so what are you gonna do to get the second to the to get the critical hit with the second hit? Um, well, a another another munition on something with guidance chips, and guidance three, tips, and yeah. a three attack dice. Mangler cannon. Mangler cannon will do it just as well. Uh, Rear Admiral Shirano. He can do it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Bistian. Yeah. Bistian, the new guy. Yep. Uh, uh, mercenary uh, co-pilot. Yes. Uh, he will, so he they will... are essentially the inverse of each other. The mercenary co-pilot changes a hit to a crit at range three. Bistan at the same thing at range one to two. One to two. Yep. They they reverse it. They reverse yeah. each other. Um, um, Emperor Palpatine. Yeah. Palpatine it's a decent choice. Yep. Basically, there's a whole uh, selection of options, and um, which point you just throw damage out. Yep. Um, in a bigger, stronger version of ruthlessness. Yep. And if your second or third uh, ship is Captain Jostero, whenever yep. the harpoon condition trigger, and you are putting damage from the harpoon, harpoon. explosion on different ships, mm -hmm. then the Captain you... Jostero's ability can trigger straight away. Yeah. So then we see putting this against, um, uh, as you pointed out, fair ship. Yep. You harpoon Bigs. Yep. Uh, the next thing shoots Bigs, uh, assuming that one of those crits goes through. Yep. You've now got <laughs> the rest of the the rest of the list to point at and yep uh take a shot at so theoretically right correct me if i'm wrong let's say mm -hmm. i've got three ships but one of yep. them is captain Justero. sure so the first one shoots use the harpoon missiles yep. and puts a harpoon condition on one of the ships question, yes yeah. question gentlemen someone's asked can he be harpooned multiple times um, uh, it's, uh, it's, you can because yeah. it's not a unique condition. But yeah. I believe you have to discard a condition card if you are deal dealt another condition card. Ooh, you would have to check the reference for yeah. conditions. Signed. Um, after a ship is this? The... Okay. No, this rule only applies to, to unique conditions. If one of your unique conditions is already in play and one of your effect cards... Okay, that's really no, a different, different case. Yeah. Basically, it means that something along the lines of um, Captain Rex's... Um, 
effectively, I effect think the is only... can only uh, be on one thing at once, or yeah. only one thing can have. Um, let me show you the dark side, which which is un- which in, is unique. Yeah, yeah, which also means that uh, with uh, let me show you the dark side. Um, if say you're using Kylo Ren shuttle, mm-hmm. uh, you've already assigned it, yes. and then someone um, triggers it, mm-hmm. you have to discard the crit that was already on it and replace yes. it with a new one. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I, um, you can be harpoons twice. Yes. So theoretically speaking, so. just just coming back to the example, let's say you have I don't know Talon Bane Cobra. You mm-hmm. are shooting at someone. You're shooting. You at... are dealing one two points of damage, sure. and you are assigning the harpoon. There is no yes. explosion just yet. No. Then the second ship shoots. At. Let's say it's something yeah. at PS six seven, and sure. he puts a crit with a harpoon missile. Yeah. That triggers the harpoons. The harpoon that, effect that from so Talon Bane Cobra. So everyone takes everyone one damage. Takes more damage, and then you assign the harpoon condition again. Mm-hmm. Right, yep. and at this stage, Captain Jostero could trigger, gets his shot, shoot another harpoon missile, Anything. trigger the previous one, yes. putting second point of damage on everyone, on everything. and assigning another harpoon condition to that. And ship. then, if his primary shot at his normal PS yep. will put another critical hit, then the third harpoon missile will explode, putting third point of damage on everyone, killing Captain Rex, Rex. And, and basically decimating the entire league. and seriously damaging everybody else. Well, the problem is you will need to have a ship that will not die of the first two harpoons and explosions, because remember yep. that harpoon explosion also deals damage to the it original does. target, not only to everyone mm. around him. That is true. Uh, what you have there is um, assuming that your opponent. If we're at this point assuming fair ship rebels, uh, you're pointing that at Biggs, um, and what does and uh, what does Biggs do when he when uh, a huge pile of damage comes at him? Well, selflessness, right? Right, he shifts it off to his mates, doesn't he? Yeah, he's fine. But well, he's still got a harpoon. The solution for that is always shoot the guy with the selflessness first. No. Mm. Mm. Also, going back to Chosro, that that is really useful because if. Uh, Bigs, oh, yes. his wingmates trigger selflessness or draw their fire. Then can that can then trigger just arrow. Oh, that is that very true. Can that is another just trigger for Captain Justero, which is yeah. both draw their fire and selflessness. selflessness. Oh, we yeah. didn't think of that. That is, oh, we didn't. But that's worth remembering. So that can uh, put your opponent, if they're flying fair ship, have to make some tricky decisions there. Very tricky decisions. Yeah, because also it means that Justero can shoot past Bigs. He can because yep, that's yeah. his only valid yep. target. Is Whoever's just taken the damage uh, mm-hmm. instead of Biggs. Mm-hmm. It does make Gisero, Gisero a very tempting target for any fair ship rebel list, though. Mm. <laughs> it does, but um, assuming you've built him as, as we've pointed out, cheap and cheerful. The thing is, he is PS4. Problem. He is PS4, mm-hmm. so he is theoretically just under three out of four of those ships. Yes. So you would have to put, like, Dead Eye on him, probably, and mm-hmm. then shoot his cruise missile on the moment when you get your trigger, because your trigger his, also uh, allow, his does, doesn't force you to, to use the primary weapon. So you, yes. you will have to not. use your, your harpoon, harpoon missiles. And then the question is, is he still a juicy target if he spent his harpoon missiles already? Not so much, although he will at that point be getting... Uh, all of the firepower. <laughs> all of the fire, yes. Mm. Well, okay, he's a 28 point ships. Yeah, he's if nice you, and cheap. If, if you have lost Captain Jostero in the initial shootout and you put two or three points of damage on everything and killed the ship with selflessness, mm-hmm. you have probably won the game. You've uh, done quite nicely, yeah. Glorak88 says if, you, if you're if you firing three lots of harpoons, I would fire them at lower because he gets the, mo- his yeah, gets the most at HP. Problem with that is Biggs will stop you from doing that. Uh, they are. Um, they do require no, a target lock. Which means. That's true. So, right, target yeah. lock, not yep. Biggs, and you can't shoot Biggs. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, if you target rock lower, well done. Yep. Then mm. you've solved the problem. And also, yeah. the, also like okay, he is the one with reinforced token, which means this I, missiles might not mm. deal so much damage to him. But he is no. usually the selflessness carrier, so yes. you want to shoot mm. missiles at him. Yes, and also um, the uh, the harpoon. Uh, after the harpoon itself is shot, the ship that has been harpooned takes a point of damage. Yep. But this specifically, actually, if you read the card, um, that point of damage comes after everything else gets a point of damage. So uh, you shoot the thing with harpoon that's been harpooned. All right. You get the uncancelled quit for it. Yep. Yep. Um, so then everything at range one of that ship takes a point of damage. Yes. Then. The ship that was harpooned and has been shot takes itself a takes a face down damage card. Face of damage card. So it's not a point of damage, which might be useful in several no, cases. What, what I'm uh, so basically what I'm trying to get at here is uh, that means that if you harpo- if you were to harpoon, say 
if, if you were to harpoon Biggs and then shoot him again, the points of damage on the not big ships come in first, which means uh, Captain Chistero wouldn't be forced to shoot Biggs out of the sort of the choices of the things that have just taken damage after not being attacked. Mm. Hmm. And oh, then that, that right. is then clarified okay, by the okay, fact I, that I guess takes a face down damage card rather right. than a point, point of damage. Of, so yes. if you would shoot trigger. harpoons at, let's say, a Lorik, yes. and this harpoon would explode, and there yeah. would be both Bigs and Jess para damage, you have to shoot Bigs. You have to shoot Bigs because he's a valid target. Yeah. Or you can wait for Bigs and Jess takes their point of damage, mm -hmm. then you proceed to the next step of harpoon condition being resolved. When Bix takes the damage, and then you can decide to shoot Bix instead. Except it's a face down or damage somewhere. card, not a point of damage, uh, so basically. Jostro's trigger doesn't apply. Yeah, mm. we want hit. It's no, suffer damage or critical, critical damage. damage. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so Captain Jostro triggers on that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I, I thought there basically, was a thing in an FAQ ages back about uh, face down damage <laughs> cards basic, being dealt. Uh, so basically, Harpoon has some very specific wording to work around Bix. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Without yes, ever yes. explicitly saying so. Sorry, so, sorry for turning harpoon missiles discussion into how to kill four ship rebels uh, with harpoon missiles. But, but, very, <laughs> but I think we've all agreed that's what it's for. Yeah. Yes. I mean, <laughs> there is another point of view on the harpoon missiles. Mm -hmm. They are just very good and cheap missiles. So yeah. even yeah. yeah. For example, normally we have been seeing we have been seeing concussion missiles being mm -hmm. used quite a lot recently, right? So some people doesn't like the cruise missiles, who are obviously the firepower is great and you don't have to spend yeah. your target log. You can roll five dice, but the fact you have to fly three or four you have is to, kind yeah. of hampering for them. But so if you have four tricky. points and you are paying controls. for concussion missiles, yeah. you might as well just go for harpoons because so, yeah. they are probably better than concussion missiles. Probably at this point, Because you yeah. don't have yeah. to spend your target log, no. that's to start with, and so, the harpoon condition. And the harpoon just condition is nice fantastic. Condition. Yeah, you're um, not going to really lose good. it. As somebody who's been playing a missile Miranda list for the last couple of months, harpoons are brilliant. I mean, because mm -hmm. your two alternatives are cruise, which you can only ever get on the free straight at the free bank, which is very predictable. Yes. Yeah. Or homing, which is expensive. Yep. Warwick yep. 88 is mourning the <laughs> loss of the TIE swarm. Uh, <laughs> I mean, let's face it, it was dead a long time ago. Yeah. We haven't seen those around so, in quite a while. But yeah, no, this is, uh, I suppose, one of the downsides to. Um, Weakening uh, fair shit is mm. it's going to also hit things like it is a price that we are willing more. to pay for <laughs> reducing the strength of four ship rebels. I mean, it would be yeah, it would be nice to see uh, a few more things like that, but yeah. there's not really a, a way of 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 harming um, things like four ship without, without touching, harming yeah. without touching a. I mean, the at swarm. least yep. with a tie swarm, you can fly them in two blocks. Yeah, which mm -hmm. mitigates, at least mitigates as much as possible. Um, although, or even like, even, even so, like, one extra point of damage from a harpoon missile is a, it's a third lot. of your damage. It's yeah, a lot. it's a lot on a tie fighter. Hmm. Reminder, right. people. Yeah, of yes. yes. Oh yes. A reminder of the uh, the vote for which lists will be flying. Against each other so in the looks... uh, match next week. Uh, reminder: you can vote for two lists uh, because there are two sides. So, current standings: mm -hmm. uh, the runaway leader is Voitex Scumless with two votes. <laughs> We've had four <laughs> well, votes. Well, just so one far. more vote. It's and, just one. <laughs> and then either my rebel or my, sorry, my imperial or my scum list. Each of which have one vote. Um, yeah. This when will we be ending this? Uh, it will end literally on Tuesday evening. There we go. Right. You have a week. Yeah. No, five under days. a week. Five, five, five days. days. Five days. Oh, it's got a vote from Max Bulls Rebels. <laughs> hey, <laughs> there we go. Okay, and uh, and another vote oh, from my Imperial list. Okay, Ooh. right there we go. Uh, any more thoughts on harpoon missiles? Um. They are not. They are not faction specific. In contrary to all the recent upgrades that were Imperial and um, Rebel and Scum only, been so quite every, a few every, of those. Uh, everyone can use them. Mm -hmm. I think the uh, the Imperial triple aces are gonna like them. Are gonna use yeah. them. Yeah. Although I think they will have to. They will have to resign from having all three ships at high PS to be able to fit the Harpoons. I think so there will have to be like the bomber, or the third ship, or something. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or. Yes. Uh, Lager has said the card says when you are hit, not when you assign damage. 
So the hit comes before you pass damage on? Um, what are you, what card are you referring to there, Lager? Just for the, I, I think the Harpoon, the harpoon condition, condition card says when you are hit by an attack, if there is at least one uncancelled crit, crit result. So yeah, that obviously means there must be more red results than they are green evades. Yes, yeah, because yeah. um, hit and dealing damage are two different things. They are. Hit yeah. means that you have taken yes. a damage or more of an attack, and it's mm-hmm. basically, basically it's like... Um, the damage you assign doesn't right. necessarily mean you are hit. Yes. I think, so I think what, what, what he's trying to mention, mm-hmm. that the harpoon condition is actually going to be resolved before the ship that was harpooned will take damage from the attack? Yes. Mm-hmm. That, is that correct? Yes, that, so that, that, that is correct. That basically yes. means the extra damage the ship takes from the harpooned condition is rolled into the damage it takes from... It's um, Effectively, what it means is that... No, the, it's actually you better cannot... because it can remove your shields... And then right. the, uh, the crit but goes then through. Crits cancelled. always resolve last, anyway. Uh, so yes, but let's say you have a ship with one shield left, yeah. and you are getting, and you have harpoon condition on yourself, and you are getting one crit going through, exactly one crit. So it's better for you to resolve harpoon condition first and remove that shield, mm. so the crit can go through, mm-hmm. than the other way, because then the crit would go into shield, and then you would resolve harpoon and just take a normal damage. So again, it's um, better for the shooter. Well, it won't happen on the thing that's been that's been shot because it takes a face down damage card. Yeah, it goes through shields. Yeah. Oh right, okay, it goes through shields. Right. But the okay. point I think okay. that was actually okay. trying to be made is that the harpoon uh, effect will not be affected by draw their fire. You can't draw fire, draw that crit away to something else and then stop the harpoon effect triggering. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes, you are correct. Because um, harpoon is triggered before the ship is suffering damage. Before draw their fire. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you can't dodge it. Not like that. Right. So, shall we proceed to the ion dischargers? Yes. The next, and I believe, uh, last new card. Yep. yep. Yeah. So, it's an illicit, it's illicit upgrade. It costs two points. Uh, and it reads, after you receive an ion token, you may choose an enemy ship at range one. If you do, remove that ion token, then that ship may choose to receive one ion token. If it does, discard, discard. Mm-hmm. Complicated. We need an explanation for this one. So what you do, so uh, when you have an effect which will cause you to take an ion, take ion um, assuming that there is an, another enemy ship at an range enemy one. ship at range one of you. So that's the first trigger. There must be an enemy ship at range yeah. one of you for this If there is no work. ship within range one of you, you cannot use yes. ion dischargers at all. But if there is, you can discard your ion uh, and just not take it at all. At which point your opponent has a choice uh, whether they take the ion instead or not. Um, if they choose to, then obviously they get ioned, but your ion discharges go away. You discard the card. So their choice is either they take an ion ion card and mm-hmm. discard your ion discharger, yep. or they just let you keep the ion. Get rid of the ion. Yep. Lose the, either way, you do yep. lose that ion. Yes. Um, what I think this was clearly designed to go with is a card the that's pulse ray shield. The pulse ray yeah. shield, which is also included in this mm-hmm. uh, in this yeah. box, um, which was previously <laughs> only available in the Sea Rock. That's um, a nice gesture from FFG to yes. yeah. make this... You get yep. two copies of each. Um, the Pulse Ray Shield is a Rebel and Scum-only modification card that, during the end phase, you may receive one Ion token to recover one shield up to your shield value, but you can only equip it if your maximum shield value is one. So what ships are those, then? Um, both of the things in this box. Of course. Uh, you also have the Hawk. The Hawk. The Sick. The, the Sick. sick. There and we go. That there might be it. And the new shuttle. The sh- yes. yes, the Phantom 2. I cannot pronounce that. Shady the shuttle. Sheepapede. Sheepapede. Yes. Sheep yep. Yes. The new shuttle. Um, yes. So uh, there's a few things. So this combo will cost four points, theoretically. It will cost uh, two points if you put it on a Vaxi. It will cost only two points if you put it on a Vaxi. Mm. And you will, steep ke- uh, you will still keep... So the, my, my biggest problem is the pull straight shield takes modification slot. And yes. the modification slot is just so important. It is. Mm. But the Kerax with the Vaxi has three, three, of, them. three of them. So, yeah. so yeah. you can probably... You can just take it. You're likely to be able to afford uh, one of those. Um, and it gives you regen. Uh, with a downside. But then the ion discharges can mitigate that downside. Mm. Mm-hmm. Lorak88 says, Ion Discharger and Feedback Array Lancer. Probably terrible, but funny. No, no. Uh, 
Oh, right. Mm. Ion Discharger. Lancer, but my ex my experience with Feedback Array is Feedback Array is good with ships that wants you to force into people or force people to bump into you that doesn't have very good firepower. And Lancer, mm. frankly speaking, with a 180 degree firing arc most of the time and with free red dice with easiness to get uh, offensive dice modifications is mm -hmm. better to just shoot the primary weapon and yeah. don't count on this stuff. Like maybe maybe the like the blocking jump mm -hmm. master, the bump master for 20 something points that just wants people to bump into it and then feedback array them. But that doesn't it's have a two illicits. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. You need two illicits and the so only thing with two illicits. this is literally the only ship that you can That could do that combo. Okay. Um, because you would need two illicit slots. Mm -hmm. And yeah, not many things have that. No, not One really. thing has that. Mm. Though, on the, on the other hand, actually putting on the Lancer mm -hmm. would get around, I think, one of the biggest weaknesses of this card, which is we are in a big ship meta at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, and a big ship can quite happily say, yeah, I'll take one eye on and get rid uh, of your card. Yeah, no <laughs> more regen for you. Yeah, yep. I, I, it's fine. It's not going to do anything. Yeah. Unless you have other ways to put Ion. Yes. <laughs> or more Ion Dischargers. Or something or just, that is going to mm, yeah, prevent them ion. from wanting to take the Ion token, yeah. such as a Bomblet Generator. Hmm. Hmm. Would you take it over a Burnout Slam or Glitter Steam, though, on the Lancer? No. 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 Not really. Um, but these two together for yep. two points to, um, between them on a Vaxi Kirax yep. gives it a bit of regen. Um, might not be a terrible idea. So I, um, if you're not using the slots for other things, my biggest issue with Ion Discharger is the fact that mm -hmm. there needs to be an enemy within range one yes. for you to use it. So I personally would use it on one of the high PS Kiraxes, like Cobra. Cobra I could really like, like it. it on Cobra, especially when he... so you can reposition, yeah. you can get into range one of people, and you yes. can use Pulse Ray Shield later on. Yes. Um, and yeah, just just have Regen and don't uh, get the Ion, which is yeah. a really nice combo. Yeah, have a have a Regen Cobra. Um, it's not a terrible choice. Mm. No. And remember, it is a and he's region, a PS9. Unlike Miranda, it is a region that can be used uh, when you're not shooting your opponent. So mm -hmm. you can easily just disengage, fly away, and then do your region. Yeah. yeah. Something that Miranda is not able to, mm -hmm. to do. Or with, I believe it's the sick, it gives you an additional maneuver on your dial. Um, uh, it does yeah, the same for Kyrax. Well. Same for yeah. Because they don't have a one forward, yeah. you can deliberately allow yourself to take the ion to get a one forward. Yep. Although it's a predictable one forward, I'm not it sure is. if this is something that you should be doing with 35 points PS9 or 11. It's ace. not something you should be doing very much. <laughs> no. no, definitely not. But it's technically it is an option. It is, it is an, an option. option. It's an option. But the two of them together mm -hmm. gives you a, um, a a scum regen option yes. for a small number of ships. So theoretically, could you build quite nicely kited out Cobra? With um, uh, pulse rate shield, pulse rate shield uh, engine upgrade, yeah, auto thrusters, ion thrusters. dischargers, some decent missiles, yeah, expert um, even maybe, yeah, and expertise as your possibly, second ship yeah. takes some large fifty something point ship with gunk to have two ships with shield region, ah, and both of them can disengage and pointed, shield region. We're being pointed at Dace Bonearm, the seven point <laughs> hawk uh, pilot for scum. When an enemy ship at range 1 Ooh. to 3 receives at least one ion token, ah. if you are not stressed, you may receive a stress token to right. cause that ship to suffer a damage. So you fly into range 1 with your auto blaster turret. Yeah. You yeah. shoot your auto blaster blast turret, turret, putting maybe one, or if you're lucky, two points of damage. Yeah. You this take some damage, obviously, because they are shooting at you, because you are a hog. Yeah. And, and then you use ion this oh. pull straight shield. Shield to and you say, regen yourself and yep. say, well, you can, uh, you can take... I'm going to remove my ion. You can take it, but it's going to hurt. It's going to Also, hurt. you'll be ioned. And you'll take another point of damage. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice combo. Mm. Literally just thought that out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> that is... It's not terrible. No. It's... No, and he's... you could build him quite... Uh, you could... Let's see. Will you see. have your modification slot? No. You will not be able to take vector thrusters. No. Because he's PS7, I would be tempted to just barrel roll into people's range one. <laughs> yeah. But then you will not get pulse ratio. You will not get the pulse mm. ratio, shield and the whole okay. thing falls apart. But... <laughs> You could, but you could, let's see, he's 23 on his own. You add another four, putting him up to 27. Um, 29 I with... I have an idea. With the, it's a terrible one. The turret's two points, I think. You could put Daredevil on him. <laughs> 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 oh, his ability only works if you're not stressed. Yeah. True. 
Yeah. Is there devil giving you stress or damage? Um, it's stress. a stress. It's a uh, damage. Stress if you and damage if you don't. If you, you don't, you would boost. be taking damage. Okay. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. That was a terrible idea. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's already a silly idea, but it could be fun. Uh, yeah. yeah. There is no EPT. Silly, though, not stupid. But it's no. No. Funny. Uh, expert handling. Gives you a stress. It does. Oh man. If you, if you yeah. really wanted to do that, you could have another ship fly alongside with wingman. So the start mm. of the combat phase, you clear that stress from Daredevil. Whenever a combo requires more than one ship, you it's can be sure it's combo. just not going to work very often. Uh, okay, but we tried. We tried. We tried. Yeah. No. Uh, this combo, no, it's it's a uh, Vexai I mean, Kerax. You can just so. go for PS9 on Dace Bonearm and just assume someone is going to be in range one. They will not be able to get out yeah. of your range one if yeah. you predict their maneuver mm -hmm. good enough. Let's face it, they don't want to get anywhere closer to you, so... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, that's just something I thought it, of. It's funny. It, it, <laughs> yeah. it could be funny. And right, so I'd yeah. very much like to see someone put that on the board. Yeah. So we we know we're going to get this upgrade. We talked yep. about a Pulse Rate Shield. We talked about a uh, Stealth Device. But we're also going to get one copy of Vector Thrusters, mm -hmm. which is a very nice choice for Kyraxes. Yes, yeah. and um, previously only appeared in the Arc 170. Yes. Yeah. Um, a Rebel ship. So, so whoever didn't have Vector Thrusters and is a scum player, just get this one. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got like two copies already. So well, I will have three now, but that's fine. I mean, seems like I can just put them on, on like cheap Kyraxes. There are points yeah, on Kyrax. One point. It's just one, one point, point on yeah. a backside Kyrax, and it can barrel well. Yeah. And that's really it. good. That whoever is... whoever was flying with a swarm or swarmy list mm -hmm. before will know that the barrel roll is just so useful for swarms, yeah. just for perfect mm -hmm. positioning. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and one point to give the to give a Kyrax. Uh, a barrel roll is yeah. yep. just worth it. Just a great So choice. worth it. Mm -hmm. I thought, what if instead of having um, a feedback array, actually, no, you have, because the feedback array is required to give the damage, um, you could have Lebo. Actually, no, because it's Lebo's Rebel. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, never what, mind. What's, what's the problem with this Rebel? 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 He. You can put illicit on Lebo. You could put an ion discharge on Lebo. That's, yes, you could. Yes. You could. Ion discharger. So, so you, you boost do. into range one, and instead of getting the ion, you say to your opponent, this is the ion. Crew. Have that on. Have that on dash. Oh, ouch. Ow. On dash. Yeah. So that might solve the donut hole problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, that is interesting. That would be just ion anyway. discharger on dash. Ah, uh, you can get... Um... So, smuggling compartment, rather than taking burnout slam or, or... big cargo shoots, yes. um, you go for... The iron discharger. Um, um... And Lebo is your crew, so mm. you're a bit more vulnerable because mm. you don't get to bank focuses, but you have a boost that is not taking up your modification slot, so you can throw countermeasures on those as well. Mm -hmm. Right, so you're going this way. But then you are not going to have Ray, so you're already dropping one of your dice mods, offensive or defensive. Mm -hmm. And you will also be losing... What else you will be losing for this? Oh, the Burnout Slump. I so know get out of the J was an idea, and also it provided a donut hole problem to dash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, just, uh, I think the Ion Discharger is better when you have a way of ionizing yourself for a benefit, rather yeah. than just um, taking it as like a safety The Iron card. Discharger doesn't solve the donut hole problem, because it only works at range 1. Uh. Well, that, that is the way to solve it, right? You boost into range 1, mm. but that's why you, don't, that's where you want to not be. You don't want to not right, be okay. range 1. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess it, that's, that's, that's the bit where you want to avoid. probably using a Mangler Cannon rather than a heavy laser. Yeah, most likely. Mm -hmm. Or Arc so Caster. <laughs> No, no, no. I mean, it's really <laughs> stupid, but... Auto Blaster. I have... Auto Blaster Dash Render. No, no. <laughs> it's funny. No. Yeah, I, I, I like junk, junk Bob that is overly junk. <laughs> <laughs> it's junk overlooked. No. So, thoughts? Overall, I mean, it's... Uh... It's, it's going to help both of these ships an yeah, awful lot. It's a nice set of cards that yeah. will actually bring these ships back to the table. Let's face it, they needed it a lot. Yeah. Especially Star Viper. The Star Viper was in, in desperate need. You only very occasionally saw Guri, and she was overcosted. Yeah. Um, and that was it. That that was the the Star Viper's biggest problem. Mm. Guri was Mark more expensive than Fenrau. Yeah, that's I mean, that's not like I... let's let's face it. Fenrau is just so much better in. Mm -hmm. I mean, ages ago, I tried to do a um, cost. 
comparison against the TIE Interceptor, mm-hmm. which when the Star Viper was released was the closest ship to it. Yeah. And it was about four to five points more expensive than mm-hmm. a, an Interceptor. Yeah. And yep. it's not um, worth that and much more. That was including all its additional upgrades like hull, shield, mm-hmm. additional attack dice. I really but like this. this because... The extra title, just dropping the cost by three is um, the right... It, it, it needed that. Mm. It, it needed that desperately. And I, Thweek and Dalin are both really good. I really like yeah. both of those upgrades mm-hmm. for, for both of those ships and the new pilots. Yeah. Uh, mostly because um, even if they are not like super overpowered, just because mm-hmm. of the fact that you will get more mm-hmm. uh, alternatives, more yeah. options to go, yeah. it will it will already increase the the um, the number of different scum lists that we will be seeing. Yeah. And we, we have seen this with Nim, who kind of become very popular for a short time, mm-hmm. and then it kind of faded away. But just the fact that there was a NIM available for people mm-hmm. uh, just just reduced the amount of what? Triple Jump Masters, yeah. for example. Yeah. So and the more options, the, the better. Yeah. And for the Kerax, the Vaxi uh, is going to... Is the, that you, there's going to be loads of these one now. Yeah. yeah. There's going to be a lot of Kerax lists. Yeah. Of um, Storms and like single aces. Yeah. And just Captain Joe Stero as like a single addition to pretty much yeah. any list that yeah. can deal some that can deal some extra damage. damage. Uh, he's just useful. Um, yeah. Blacks and aces as a bunch of um, ordnance, carriers. Carriers, ordnance carriers, just yep. lots yeah. of them. Um, you could probably fit a bunch of Blacks and aces and a Captain Joe Stero yeah. uh, with, some, uh, with some harpoons and yeah. just have that. You can easily fly um, Tweak, Fan, and Cobra now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You For can like have... a triple, triple high PS reposition ace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna bring Cobra into back well, into, the back into yeah. a lot of use. Uh, yeah. Just the uh, drop the cost by um, a lot, depending on how many upgrades you put on him. One per upgrade, mm-hmm. and uh, the the three the three modifications. Uh, it's gonna it's just gonna be, it's, it's gonna be popular, and you will be able to build Cobra in so many different ways. Yes, yeah. and the best thing is that with more releases and more modifications coming out, mm-hmm. the possibilities of the it's character just, uh, are just going to increase. Yes. Yes. yes, absolutely. Although I think they're gonna be very careful with one point modifications. Oh yes, now, because they're just gonna be turned into zero. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, they will. we might see a lot more Rebel and Imperial only. Mm-hmm. Yeah, possibly. possibly. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be have to be very careful about what uh, what modifications scum get access to. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks to that, that actually but, is going to work for all of the modifications. Really, uh, all of the other upgrades that are available for for the characters. Oh, true. Yes. So like missiles, yeah. they will have to yeah. be careful with missiles, not Illicit, to allow CPTs. like again four black sun aces with any new missiles that will be yeah. released in the future. You'll have to they remember that it's going to be so, a yeah. point less for every uh, yep. mm. for every Kerax that mm-hmm. wants them. And then the offset is the Kerax is ever costed, so... Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and obviously yeah. that's their way of, of mm-hmm. resolving that without just slapping a negative point yeah. title. I think we could see some nice one-point illicit slot, because at, mm-hmm. the, at, the, po- at the moment uh, we only have a Black Market Slicer Troll, which is it's it a nice upgrade, action. but very situational. It takes yeah. your action and is a and the, chance. Yep. And the inertial the dampeners are great on high PS pilots, but not so good on low PS. No. So it would be nice to see something with a mediocre use, probably, for for, yeah. for a swarm of Kyraxes that could yeah. use them. Okay. Um, but no, this is, a, this is a good set. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's what both of these ships desperately needed. Okay. And I'm tempted to get the second one just to get four Harpoon missiles. Yeah, <laughs> let's, well, let's be honest. You are. Well, yes. Oh, and, and four Vaxi titles. And four Vaxi titles. So. Uh, and yeah, once again, we have uh, a poll for which two lists will be flown against each other next week uh, using cards from this set. Um, the link is in the uh, is in the chat. Uh, remember, you get two votes. Uh, one for. Uh, for the two lists you want to see fly against each other 
And I'm sure you'll be able to find the link to this on the Athena Games X-Wing group as uh, well. Yes, or if you're watching us on YouTube, you'll find it in the description below. Alternatively, you can go to streampoll.tv forward slash 37512. That's streampoll.tv forward slash 37512. Yes, and as things currently stand, the uh, two highest... Ranked lists are Voitex Scum List and Michael's Imperial List, both with two votes. Uh, we then have Michael's Scum List and my Rebel List with a vote apiece. Oh, uh, Voitex just got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just got and another, another one. one from Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be the same person who just voted because yeah. uh, remember you have two you votes. Do have two one? votes. Yeah, you have two votes. Um, and of course, you can look at the list by clicking on, on the handy the, links. The links, and that will take you to the list builder, which you can actually see mm -hmm. what list that they are playing. And again, that match will be next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, Wednesday. Uh, during it's our usual flight seven, night, seven p.m. Or and voting closes Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday at seven p.m. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So you have a, a good five days. Yep. Yep. Good five days to vote. Yes. As everything. Uh, you guys mm -hmm. have a very good expansion. Mm, very, very good expansion. Absolutely. And very, it's, some very interesting things. As a scum player, yes. I'm so totally in love with this yeah. one. I was waiting <laughs> a year for a proper scum <laughs> Aces pack, and I can't stress more how much I like this yes, one. Yes, it's... Mm. Uh, yeah, it's been a while, if you even... if Assuming you even uh, count their... their first one. Uh, well, yeah. the Surok... The no, uh, it, it's assuming you, you 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 even count most wanted as a scum aces pack, yeah. <laughs> which um, I think I think really. <laughs> I think fancy flight kind of do. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that's it for tonight. Mm. The the pack is coming soon. The only reason we have it tonight is because Wojtek has a friend in the states who shipped him a copy. No, from Gen Con. he's a friend from Poland. He flew oh. there to visit the Gen Con and he bought it and he brought it back. A uh, friend, friend from to Poland me. who went to the US mm -hmm. to fly at Gen Con and bought it back for him rather kindly. So mm. that's why we've got it early. So we have a bit of a scoop here at the Games. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it a yeah. scoop, but um, I certainly. Like <laughs> it's not it. legal for tournaments yet, but if you yeah. want to fly against it and you are from Norwich, come next to Wednesday and we can we can play with this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> open challenge. <laughs> open challenge. <laughs> it's not a challenge, just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's coming soon. Uh, it's not out mm -hmm. next week, so hopefully it will be relatively soon. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll see and uh, stay tuned for more announcements. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you for joining us. I guess. Thank you. And who are you today? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've been joined by uh, Michael uh, Mags, Voitexar, and uh, Max Paul. Yes. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>